The courts in Scotland can make an order that a party must put up security for the cost of an action, including the other side's costs, and this is known as cation. To do this, the party seeking cation must make an application to the court, or what we would call a motion to the court. If an order for cation is granted, it can subsequently be varied or recalled on a further application, or motion as we would call it, being made. Any motion, either for cation or for variation or recall, must set out the grounds of the application. Cation is not automatic, and the court has a wide discretion whether or not to order cation. There are a number of factors that a judge will take into account in deciding whether or not to grant cation. For example, they will look at the nature and scale of the litigation. If the type of the litigation, for example, is an appeal, that's going to mean costs are likely to be greater and that may favour cation being granted. The judge will also consider whether the party against whom cation is being sought has been refused legal aid and what the reasons for that refusal were. The judge will also consider the financial circumstances of the party against who cation is being sought and what means they have to pay a finding of expenses if the case were ultimately to be decided against them. The judge will also look at whether the case is being brought by the party in their own interest or whether they are being used as a front for a wider interest. They will also consider the overall value of the claim and the likelihood of success. If an order for cation or other form of security is granted, the order will specify the period by which cation or security must be found. This can be done by lodging a sum of money with the accountant in court or through what's called a bond of cation, and that's usually a bond issued by an insurer. The court may also approve of other methods of security or a combination of these methods. If a party is required by the court to obtain cation and fails to do so, there can be very serious consequences. If the party in default is the pursuer, i.e. the claimant, the defender can seek a decree of absolvitor, which is a judgment that they are absolved of all liability for the claim. If the defender, on the other hand, is the one in default, then the pursuer can seek decree by default, basically a default judgment against the defender, or such other order as the court may see fit. The basic idea behind the rules in Cation is that no party should be obliged to litigate against a man of straw.